You must know Matt Silent. No, no, no. I thought oh, I got the bits off him. Yeah, I've done a video with him recently. Yeah, mate. He's always got the bits, man. Yeah. So you're like the Matt Silent of Wales then? I'm trying to be. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It Come makes on, sense. Man. It makes sense. Yeah. Was this just some of your weekend wear, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I've got, got a lot of numbers in, yeah? that I've been collecting for the past, wow. past couple of years. Hey, hey, how's it going, nice man? Nice to meet Good you. To meet you. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Meet you. I love your shop, man. Oh, this is where you wanted to show me earlier on, isn't it? This is... Uh... This was what he's here. opened in 1982. Yeah. Uh, arguably the best designer stores uh, shop that's came out of Wales, really. Right, uh, okay. Woody's, right? Yeah, Woody's. The owner, Ray Bacon, he um, gave us some, some information um, about the history of the shop, lots of archive material, which went down really well. He's by, I think the first... Um, First thing I bought in there was it would have been eighty six, eighty seven. Nineteen eighty six. Yeah, it was about fourteen, fifteen, and uh, so that was four years after Stone Island came out. Yeah, but I bought a Ralph Wren uh, polo. It was a navy one with uh, with red collars actually, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I held onto that bag for dear life. Um, <laughs> and how much was it back then? I think it was thirty two fifty. That would, have, that would have been a lot of money back in then, yeah. wouldn't it? So now what they bought they bought hundred and twenty quid now the polos. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was probably. A week's wages for somebody right, like me. Right. Uh, <laughs> doing part-time jobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So would that have been double units? Would it have yeah, two yeah. units? First of all, they had two units, and right. then they moved upstairs then. Unfortunately, it closed about uh, mid-2000s. Uh, right. But mm. uh, it had a good, had a good 20-year run. Where's the, where's the owner now? Uh, yeah, he's still, um, he's still living in Cardiff. Okay. Uh, yeah, br proper gentleman. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he, he loved the book, which yeah. which was great to uh, which was great to hear. Yeah, yeah. Wow, and even the smell, man. Oh, it's nice. I love it. Look at this place, man. Oh man. Gosh. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, good, yeah, yeah, good to see you. Okay, Tony, how are you? Hey, I'm really good. Hey, hey, how's it going, man? Nice to meet good you. Good to meet you, yeah, really yeah, yeah. Good to meet you. I love your shop, man. Thank you very wow. much. Wow, the decor, the design. Fabulous. The aesthetic, just, I don't know. I wasn't alive 70 years ago, but it kind of makes me feel oh, like I was alive. I love it, man. We've done we do a video on the, on the history of independent stores in Cardiff. Yeah. So, um, if we can have a look around, yeah. By all means. Thank yeah. you. Always, yeah. What are you doing with yourself, kid? Oh, all sorts now. Yeah? <laughs> Look at this place, man. Look at this. Look at this. What is that? Look. That is so cool, that look. Yeah, look, look, look. look at that. And this. Hey, look, the broke trader. What's this? Factory. What's the retailer? Oh, look at that history, man. Look at them making the shoes. Wow. Stuff like it it, 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 it really annoys me, like, stuff like this is not promoted more yeah yeah honestly got a good following in south wales yeah 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 yeah, yeah. at least have a even bigger following throughout the throughout europe yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was really intrigued by your store could you tell us a bit about your store and how long you've been here and just, you know just a little well, bit of the, the store's owned by a gentleman called chris mcnamara okay uh it's a family, family business mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the guys are chris is ex-motor trade i'm ex-motor trade Oh. Uh, Chris decided he wanted to open a shoe shop yep. and uh, started it in 2013. Okay. Uh, as a little independent. Right. Um, we represent most now of the major English shoe brands. I love it. Now, so, um, I love it. We've done some bits where we, where we sponsor the Welsh, so we, we do the Welsh uh, football team. Okay. Uh, we did the Welsh rugby team for a few years. We do Bath rugby, we do Scottish football. Wow. Wow. So, uh, little, That's really good, man. Sponsorship of those. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when you come in here, it's all about service. Yeah, yeah. But well, that's service. what it should be about with, with independence, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, sure. something for that's sure. missing, I feel, in the in the retail industry now, yeah, you know? Right. You kind of know your customers and you know people, you yeah, know them by first yeah, name. Yeah. Well, yeah. Personal yeah. service. Yeah. Uh, well, we used to work together in, ah. the, same, in the same car yeah. showroom. And right. People would come in and specifically want to talk to you. And if it was your day off, yep. you had a customer in front of you, they would wait. Yeah. They'd wait whether it be sure. next that's, day, that's how it should be. That's how it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much the same yeah, yeah. so it's very similar. So kind of a high end product. Yep. Um, but it's great, it's great. We've got a brilliant yeah. customer base. Like Amazing. Awesome people. You could start a business in like customer service for all these high end brands, you know? Because you, you see some of these high end brands and they give you some of the worst customer service. Yeah, you're not 
you know, so, yeah, yeah. and I just think it's one of the things People that's like missing. A personal touch to them. Of course they do. Much, of course they do. Well, look, I know you're busy, man. Thank you so much for your time. We, we really appreciate it. It's what's coming in to say, to say, you, say hello so to you. Much. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of your day, nice, man. Nice you. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly let you know that this video has actually been sponsored by Louisa Villaroma. Now, without them, this video wouldn't be possible. So, I want to give them a massive shout out and a big thanks. If you don't know about Louisa Villaroma, they are a massive luxury retailer who are located over in Italy. We've actually done a video with them before. So, if you want to see that video, I will link that in the description box below. They do lots of different really cool brands. So, it's worth checking out. They've got some new season items on brands like Stone Island, on brands like CP Company, Casablanca, Amiri, a lot of the brands that I know that you guys love great place to discover new and up-and-coming brands for all different types of budgets right now with Louisa Villaroma is they're giving an extra 20% off selected sell items which includes CP Company, Bellstar, Casablanca, Amiri and tons of other brands I'll put a link in the description box below which will give you the code so you can get your extra 20% off and I'll also put a link on there for new season stuff as well now back to the video that was wicked that was the famous Hugo Boss. Yeah, he's a boss though. So, yeah. um, I don't know how long he's been open. He's been open probably, what do you reckon, Joe? Been open about 10 years? Yeah, I reckon. Like, yeah. During the magnetic years, obviously 86 to 93, we really loved some of the yeah. <laughs> some of the Hugo Boss because when Hugo Boss were really good. Mm -hmm. um, um, probably wasn't one of the top 10 labels at the time because there were so many great ones. Yeah. But he was up there and yeah, there was a Cecil G store. I used to work in Cecil G's. Yeah, the Cecil G, obviously, as you know, probably goes back to the 60s. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. But uh, in the 80s, they had a um, collaboration with... Uh, with uh, Hugo Boss. Collaboration with Hugo Boss, yeah. And, like, the designs at the time, you know, the embroidery. It was the, good. Yeah, it was all... It was different class. Like, you know, I'm not knocking. It's progressive, whatever, you know, whatever styles yeah, nowadays. But there's a lot less workmanship that goes into it. Yeah. You know, that's why people enjoy looking back at best best company yep. uh you know feeling she class in nouveau because it was all real bespoke uh gear that yeah. were, you know uh, it was um a lot of hard work has gone into it mm. like, but you don't get that anymore do you no it just tends to be like print, like print on doesn't it yeah it's, yeah it's, a lot of because yeah. it's mass marketing isn't it? what is it you know it's mass produced um like flannels at the other end of town we can talk about that later but there's a lot of mass production there yeah. which you know, makes their shareholders uh, happy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be happy to know that uh, Mr. Mike Ashley owns a percent of I'm, Hugo Boss now. I'm not surprised. Got his fingers in every pie. Every pie. Yeah, yeah. We, we, spoke, we spoke a lot about Ashley to uh, pendants around the country. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of it wasn't, uh, we couldn't even publish because... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, we, we, let's just say it wasn't all complimentary, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. This is such a nice jacket, that is. Do you get a lot of compliments on it? I've, I've only just got it. Oh, recently? Um, but I, I got it off a mate of mine. Yeah. It was, uh, it was just a bit too short on him. Yeah. I love the colour, it's like kind of washed out. With yeah, 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 I love it. But it's, it's, yeah, one of my favourites, I think. This is what they meant when the more you wear it and it ages over time and it gives it this kind of look to it. I think, well, it's not perfect, but I think... Yeah. Just the story adds to it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's like a rave or yeah. more it's the football. It's been around the world probably before it's come to me and now it's, it's 35 years old. Yeah, but older just, than you. Yeah. And yeah. now it's here in Cardiff. Exactly. <laughs> What's one of the main things that you like about Cardiff? Cardiff Football Club. Football Club, okay. Food scene's great. Great food scene. I love that if you look at Taylor Swift Hats. Oh, Taylor, Swift Taylor Swift Hats, Hats yeah. Got got those. I think just all the old buildings, it's like a new city but it's still got its roots. Mm. It's really, I've like, I like it so far. How much for Taylor Swift? A lot more glitter and sparkle in Cardiff today than usual. So it's not always like this, no? no I thought it was no, just a, no. I thought it was just a Cardiff thing. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> not quite. It's uh, gone a bit over the top today. I, House of Phrases is gone. I used to be a shop called Howells. Um, yes, and they bought it. What I was saying earlier, when Woody's had the, uh, they had the only store, um, Ralph Lauren concession in South Wales. Mm -hmm. But then. Um, uh, years later, Howells came in. Uh, Ralph Wren gave him uh, give him a concession as well, which didn't go down too well. Right. Um, and that was that was the beginning of the end for the independence when a lot of these stores like that coming in big big budgets. Yeah. Uh, homogenized stores and yes. uh, 
Yeah, this is this is where we are today now, so with one independent left in Cardiff. The brands have not made it easy for these smaller independents. Not at all. Because they wanna they wanna have the bigger contracts with the larger companies. Of course. Than with the smaller ones. A year, years ago it was a bit different like, with full marketing and Stone Island. Yep. They did uh, pride themselves on uh, uh, go into the to family. the independents, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go into the family running shops. Yeah, I think uh, under Montclair, that whole thing has changed now. You know, it's very, very, very corporate now. It's all about bottom line, unfortunately. So yeah, that's what we talked spoke about when Montclair came in and uh, took over Stone Island. And yeah, you've seen it it's rapidly. Yeah, changed big, big time. Yeah, yeah. During the magnetic years, yeah, you know, Queen Street. This is. Uh, yeah, probably the first pedestrian street in Cardiff. There's one or two more now. Yeah. Um, there was an Olympus Sport. Um, I remember them. Yeah. Oh, they they were they were massive. Um, obviously, sports shoes and uh, and football casual uh, wear at the time. You had yeah. uh, you had Australia and Luca, Sergio Tashini, Fila. Yes. Um, yeah, I remember those brands. First night I ever bought in there was a pair of Vandal Supreme Silver with a red. Um, Red swoosh, they were more for breakdancing when I was about 13, 14. <laughs> they all sort of black and gold. You were breakdancing at 13, 14? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good, Mike. Huh. Yeah, and also, over here, there was a Horn, Horn Brothers. It didn't last very long, it was open for a few years. What was the name? Horn, Horn Brothers? Horn, Horn Brothers. Horn, yeah, yeah. They had, 1990, they had the first Paul and Shark I saw. Um, the yeah. first pawn shop that you saw? Paul, Paul and Shark. Oh, Paul and Shark, <laughs> right. <laughs> In Kendall, as they had a little bit a while before. It didn't last very long, actually. But uh, yeah. What's your thoughts on Paul and Shaw? Are you much of a fan? I was. I was probably 30, 40 years ago. But, and then? Um, uh, 30 odd years ago, sorry. But yeah, it went, it went a, bit, a little bit too mainstream for me. Right. Would, would there usually be as many people like this without the Taylor Swift? Is it usually as busy as this, or is it usually more quiet? Like on a weekday, it's probably quite dead. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it's nice that the town has a bit of buzz today, then? Yeah, definitely. Because at the moment, obviously, with the Taylor Swift, it just feels like Cardiff's a really buzzing city. So I'm just wondering, is it, is it normally... No, there'd be a lot of grafters from other areas, yeah. so, like them kids, Blairy, yeah. uh, from London and Manchester. In the 80s, there was a store called um, Gwyn's. Gwyn's? Gwyn. Gwyn. Okay. And he did, uh, did Tashini tracksuits, uh, Adidas. I think he'd done a bit of a lesson feeler, you know, so when, oh wait, uh, at the same time as Olympus was open, uh, People could come here and uh, get, a, get a different choice. Nice. Ah, oh, this is a proper market you're taking me now to. Yeah, yeah. Now to, Tony. This is nice. This is like when I went to Darwin and they had a nice market. Oh, look at the food. Oh, no, no, balls, no. Oh, curry and chips. Balls the same. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice vintage, eh? Hey, how's it going? How's it going, dude? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice one, brother. Hey, what's going on? Nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Nice one, Good to meet you. Good to meet you, Good to meet you, bro. Nice one. Oh, you brought up some goodies as well, have you? Yeah, I've put a couple of bits like. Flip, what's this just some of your weekend wear, yeah? Some yeah, I've got a lot of numbers in, yeah? that I've been collecting for the past, wow. past couple of years. Wow, wow, some, wow. Some newer bits. Yeah, man. Some collab bits. Oh, mate, that's really cool, that is. And then a couple of like, uh, like stand up. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, the seep skin, yeah, yeah. And then. Nice lot. Yeah. Probably one of the earliest pieces I got. Oh man, that is lovely. That is gorgeous. That is yeah. beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. You you must know Matt Silent. I don't know him personally. No, no, no. I thought oh, I saw him. Yeah, I done a video with him recently. Yeah, mate. Yeah, guy, man. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's he's always got the bits, man. Yeah, really. Good yeah. Guy. So you're like the Matt Silent of Wales, then? Trying to be. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, it, makes on, man. it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Be done. Oh, be cool, done. man! Let's do a yes. quick video, man. So this is a uh, this is a uh, Knights vintage. Knight vintage. Good it. to meet you, my brother. Great to meet you What's too. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob, Jacob Knight. Okay. Jacob Knight of Knight. Not related vintage. to Jacob's store in Bristol, no. No, no. Oh, okay, no. cool. No, just no, checking. No. Just, 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 just a good name, like. <laughs> so, tell me, what, what do you do here? What's what's going on? So I sell a lot of 80s, 90s sportswear, streetwear, and designer, um, all from my loves from 
football, skateboarding and music. Wow. It's kind of an amalgamation of all the different things that come with those Huge. cultures and subcultures, whether that be like the hip hop tees, the run the MCs, stuff yeah. like that, yeah. Wu Tangs. Sick stuff like that, or like the original skate, Bones Brigade, that sort of stuff. And then a lot of the football culture, big ah, vintage Cardiff City oh collector. Man, that's nice. I like that. Beautiful that piece, like really one nice. of the training yeah. top. A lot of like the CP. Some, oh, that's the tracery. That's one of the that's tracery like ones. Recent piece. Yeah, a bit of a newer one, but then go into like the classics, like oh, Elays really, really as well. Back, right? Yeah, some seriously good really ones nice. there. This nice one's color, with man. the green tint as well, like yeah, 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 so yeah, beautiful. Really nice. And then yeah, into the Stone Island then, which is again, and a lot of the newer stuff so some of the collab pieces so there's like one of the supreme ones there yeah. probably one of my favorites the yeah. green is absolutely stunning mm. what, um, year is, what year is that one do you know i think that was 20 can i say 16 or 17. Okay. not long ago i should have uh, double checked that one pigment dye ones yeah, which yeah. were quite recently I but these, yeah. but the badges they on the these amazing yeah. like i love the dyes Everyone on the badges that, like, everyone's tried to dye their badge to try and get a to get that badge. yeah work. and then like the classic some of the i love these 1998 what is the name of this material chenille i think that's it chenille that's stunning it. so soft yeah i've like, got um presidential knit with that material beautiful chenille they, um, a lot of the boys started wearing this about 92 93 right but um they they were they they did have trouble stretching mm -hmm. <laughs> it was uh yeah there was a, uh, a lot of times i've seen i've seen a few photos over the years of uh, boys wearing them to the football and getting sweaty in the pub <laughs> and they come out and they'll be down to their knees yeah, <laughs> yeah it's that type of material yeah, it is definitely yeah <laughs> it's a sort of material that i'd only put on the hanger for show and then as yeah. soon as uh as soon as it's not needed for show, yeah, you got comes it. off the hand and gets yeah, back yeah. put yeah. folded. That's a, like. it's a beautiful material. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. Oh, so that stunning. late 80s one is wow. stunning. Wow. It was one of those pieces yeah. that I picked up originally to sell and, and then, then I, it, it fitted like an absolute dream it's and I was beautiful. like, yeah. I gotta keep it. I had a couple of cable nets, they started to come out about 1990. They did quite a few different colours. That's a lovely colour which I can't it's remember. Beautiful. Look at the stitching detail in that cuff. Look at that. Beautiful. It's stunning. And the fit of it as well, it's a lot of like that 80s, 90s where it's a little bit more cropped, a little bit of a wider, boxier fit, which for now is perfect. But, yeah, do you know what I mean? Which was so ahead of its time, you know what I mean? Like now, every all these kids, all they want is the cropped, boxy fit. And, you know, Massimo Rossi was doing it back in, you know, the late 80s, early 90s. Joe had a really nice CP company jacket, which is from Japan. Oh, wow. Cropped. Yeah. And Amazing. I the same thing. And that was, I don't know if it was 90s. How old was that orange jacket that you had, Joe? That? How old was the orange, the orange CD? That was, that's about 35 years old. 35 well. years? Yeah. It's, quite similar. it's almost like Yes, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what we were just that's what we were just saying. Yeah. You were saying that a lot of the crop. kids they want the there you go, the crop. Yeah, they want it crop now. Yeah. And they were doing crop back then yeah. and now it's come back. Well, you know the orange one? Yeah. That's the that's the the Italian version of it, so it's the nylon instead of like oh, a linen yeah, material. You're much better though. The colour, <laughs> yeah, the colour is <laughs> ah, stop, yeah. <laughs> nice bit, probably this one as well. Yeah, yeah. I saw Matt had this. Stunning, stunning in it. Man. That's making expensive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I was lucky. One of my friends. Is that, is that, is that two grand or my? It's probably about. A, a, I bought probably it. close. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. But this is, I mean, this is the like, quality is ridiculous, is, man. Yeah, yeah. I know it's. It's hand painted as well, so you know it could do with a little bit of treatment. But I know, I kind of like the patina. Something do you know what I mean? Like that little bit of wear, that little bit of life to it always. Yeah. That's the beauty about some of the vintage pieces. You can see it's been worn. Yeah. That's you like know, it tells a story. Do you know what I mean? Like, like coming into the mid 2000s. Yeah. yeah, 2006. Is yeah. it? Yeah. So yeah, poor. Yeah, it would have been poor. <laughs> that's nice. Is that a newer piece? Or that's a newer one. Yeah. That's. That's probably like 2012, 2013, okay. around that yeah, yeah, yeah. period. Yeah. But yeah, it's such a beautiful, just the colour, yeah. stunning. Yeah, classic. Absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. Again, one of the newer bits, but you know, taking on from that 90s inspiration with the colours and you know, what they were doing back then with yeah. the formula steels and stuff like that. And, yeah, Do you know whose yeah, birthday it was yesterday? No, whose birthday was it? It was. It wasn't. No way. Yeah. Eighty. Yeah. What a legend. This one, the shadow the trench. Yeah. The, so we got two shadow projects. Yeah. They, they got the had trench. This Stone Island outlet. Age. Crazy. Ago. Yeah. Absolutely nuts piece. Uh, not exactly probably the most wearable. Mm. I don't know. It probably definitely take a. Oh, I didn't realise it was that thick. Yeah. 
I didn't realise. It's an absolute gold of print. Yeah, they had this at the start. And the print on the back. First went there. Yeah, that's absolutely it. stunning. How, how much is that on sale for? 450. Okay, that's, I think yeah. that's reasonable. Not, for not that too bad, bad. No. yeah, yeah. This is the kind of piece that I was, I'm hopefully going back out to Japan in September and I feel like this sort of piece in Japan would do really well. It's a bit different, I feel like, you know, they, they're into their proportions, so yeah. that long trench coat might work right, yeah. right over there. What, Tokyo? Yeah, I'll probably take it out to Tokyo. What's the deal over there? What's going on? Mate, they love it out there, man. Like, really? yeah, that like you know the Japanese. Yeah, no. just I've been to Tokyo and I love it. It's mate, yeah, the it's best amazing. place. Yeah, the yeah. food, the yeah, culture, yeah, yeah, the, the people. Culture, people. Oh, mate, you get into the amazing. Shop, barren, like, so I know it's amazing. <laughs> and like the, what the one thing I I love about it, and the one thing that I brought from Asia back to Cardiff is, you know, you walk into someone's shop, and it might only be like a tiny little space but you can really gauge a feel of what they're into mm -hmm. and like their niches whether they're into like their football or they're into their skating or yeah. they're into a certain type of music you walk into their store and you know you get a real vibe for the shop owner yeah, and like that's uh the yen is struggling so there's a lot of really struggling there's a lot of bargains out there at the moment yeah oh, massive really? bargains yeah, yeah you find really good japanese Tokyo street wear expensive man the flights yeah. are like, expensive it. the flights are still expensive but out there mm. apparently where to stay clothes yeah. food yeah, it's, uh, all, it's right. all right. It's good on you, man. Trying, trying, trying to do something like, no, yeah, nice. do you know what I mean? That's no, good, man. Yeah. And you've got your own fan base, you've got your own, like, yeah, you know, stuff. the community that I've built in Cardiff is amazing. Wow. I've been super lucky, you know. You know, there's been such a strong history with men's menswear and men's yeah, clothing, same, and, you know, a lot of these small independents aren't around anymore. Nice. And, nice. you know, I walk around town, and you always see is the big names, yeah, and it's time to really boring. bring a little bit yeah. of bring a bit of diversity it's something yeah. new to Cardiff instead of it just being like you're walking into any old shop seeing the same brands it's like bringing something new to Cardiff which is important yeah, you know yeah, and especially in the market there used to be a shop upstairs called Gwyn's which in the 70s and 80s was like huge for a lot of the guys in Cardiff where they bought the Sheenies, Feelers, like all the classic like casual brands were sold upstairs. Actually, oh, my yeah. first spot in the market was oh, yeah. the same slot See, that Gwyn's was in. So story. yeah, it's, it's, it's a part, being part of history and being a part of men's, men's wearing Cardiff is important. Nice. So yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful thing. So yeah, it's guys it needs to like be done. you that will help to bring retail back. I hope so, I hope so. What's your name? My name is Johan. Johan, good to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Nice How's going? Man. Good, all good, man. So you've um, you started your own brand. Yeah, right? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me like about your background? How did that start? How did it come about? Yeah, so I've always been into menswear through following my football team, Cardiff City. Okay. I've seen all the older lads wearing these really interesting garments. Brands such as Stone Island CP Company, mm. and it really caught my attention straight away. Okay. Um, and then in lockdown, then. When I was in between sixth form and university, I was thinking, what do I want to do next? And I knew that I always had an eye for design, so it was just figuring out how to do everything, really. Do you yeah. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, in um, December 2022, yeah. I launched Cambrensis, which means of Wales in Latin. So, oh, so it's the one that you're wearing now? Yeah, man. I, like, I really like it. So, our logo is a, a Welsh miners lamp, so it's really tapping into the whole... So it's a Welsh heritage men's yeah. brand, so it's, it's tapping into the, the heritage of Wales without being too in your face. Yeah. But it's also got those inspirations from the brands such as Stone Island CP Company. I, I see, I see Cam Brentis as an exposure to menswear, but also my upbringing in South Wales as well. Yeah. So yeah, man, I've got a few new pieces to show you. Like all of our collections are named after places in Wales. First, first thing, I love the design. I love that it's a bit different, like the way you've curved the pockets. You've got this elastic here for the pockets. The thing I, is, I it's, like it. it's, it's different. Yeah, yeah, it's clean, but it's, yeah. it's also functional as well. Yeah, yeah, Do you see what I mean? And you can wear it with so many different things. I love it. Um, but yeah, all of our collections are named after places in Wales. So our current collection is called Merthyr, right. which is a very historic town in Wales right. uh, for so many different things. So yeah, we, we, we create small collections really. And I'm really proud of the stuff, to be fair. Nice, dude. So this piece here. Oh, really nice. So that's our full logo in the middle. Yeah. But it's also been, this design here has been taken inspiration by the plates that are actually on the, the miners lamps themselves. Right. Um, and we just redesigned it then to, it. to fit the brand really. Uh, you even got your hangers printed as well. Yeah man, it's yeah. all about the little details, yeah. do you know what I mean? It has to be. It's a bit different, isn't it? It's like a, yeah, it's man. a CP a little bit. CP, but it's yeah. like, it's still got that 90s look, but it's mm. kind of been brought into the modern day as yeah. well. 
You seem to have a bit of a trademark with this, that type of pattern here. I know something sense. similar with the, this is like it almost reminds me of the right mask a little bit this bit. Yeah, bit definitely. Here. We did um, we did our first show in London Fashion Week last February. Dude. Um, so yeah, man, we're well, getting well done, there. man. Appreciate that. No, because I know the I know the amount of hard work and effort that takes. It's not. Yeah, it's man. Not it's, easy. It's, it's tough as a graph because it's all been trial and error because I don't come from a fashion background of course. Um, and it's just figuring out how to do everything really mm. and I feel like we're at a stage now where I'm able to create beautiful products That's that amazing. are timeless yeah, that hopefully that one day will be you know, yeah. the number one men's wear yeah, brand in Wales. Well, you've got to start somewhere man. Yeah, for sure. But well done bro. Appreciate that no, man. Well Appreciate done, that. Man. I'm proud of you man. This is our jumper from our new collection. I really like that. That's really tight. It almost reminds me of old school Umbro, that one. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. Do you know what it reminds Do you know what this piece reminds me of? Go on. It reminds me of this piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah, man. For sure. Yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. So that, again, that's the inspiration there. Yeah. But then it's, it's it's got its own little life as well. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I love that. Dope, but yeah, man. The, the detail here is really yeah, nice. Yeah, the quality of the stuff is, is, yeah. is lovely, to be fair. I can see it. It's well made. That's good quality, man. Thanks very much, man. Yeah, man. That's really good. So, so yeah. if, if people want to find out about you, how what, what do they do? Instagram, yeah. website. So we're all we're on all the social media platforms: Instagram, TikTok, at Cam Brentis. Okay, that's how it's spelt there. And then our website is just www.cambrentis.co.uk. So I've been lucky enough to have like meetings with buyers for Selfridges, Harrods, oh, yeah. and they've all told me the same thing: your, your yeah. products are beautiful. Love your product, but you just need to build that following. We get the following up. So that's, that's the case now, we're doing yeah. this slowly and yeah. I believe that we've got a nice little community there yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, a nice little customer base, so yeah, we're getting nah, there, man. man. I'm really proud of you, bro. Appreciate that. Takes that takes a lot of work, man. For sure. And I think, how, how old are you? 22. 22? Yeah. You're still young as well? Yeah, man. That's really good, man. So now nah, I, respect, I respect the hustle, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah, keep that. it up, man. Anything I can do to help. Yeah, definitely, you know, man. Let definitely. Me know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, wicked, bro. I appreciate meeting you, man. Yeah, yeah I'll drop you a follow. Appreciate nice that, one. man. Yeah, good luck with the brand as well. Thanks it's very really much. It's really nice.